Welcome back guys, this video is all about the natural vision remastered graphic mods for your PC. So guys, all we gotta do, okay, is that we're gonna get straight into the video and make sure you guys do listen because this mod does work. So guys, this is a graphic mod, okay, and what does this mod do, okay, it just changes the textures and graphics for your gameplay. So make sure you guys do listen, okay, and we're gonna get straight into the tutorial. All you guys gotta do, okay, is make sure that you download all the requirements in some description and make sure that the, the files and all of the downloads are the latest version. Make sure that everything is up to date too, guys, and make sure that you got an up to date game too. Once you guys have downloaded all the requirements and installed them all, make sure you guys download natural vision remastered i will leave this inside my description and make sure you download visual v i will leave this inside my description too and lastly make sure you download reshade when you come over here guys make sure you scroll right down the bottom and download reshade over here make sure it is version 4.21 and then all you guys gotta do is download them all okay and then that's it once you guys have completed downloading all three mods then we're gonna get straight into the game folder next thing we are going to do guys that we're gonna go over here and hover over our Grand Theft Auto V game right click and open file location as you guys can see that this folder is a brand spanking new folder there's absolutely no mods in here, so we are going to start fresh. Before we do start, guys, make sure that you are connected to your OpenIV. Open up your OpenIV, guys, and then now uh, all you guys, guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows, and then it will take time to open up your application. All you guys got to do next, okay, is go to your tools. Go to ASI Manager and make sure that you do check to see if it's all installed. Make sure all these are installed. Once you guys have completed that, then all you guys gotta do okay is minimize your open IV because we will be going in there soon. Now guys we are going to install all the requirements. Okay, so all you guys gotta do okay is go to your script hook v extract folder i will leave the requirements in some my description too guys open up your script hook v extract folder go into your bin folder and then select input 8.dll and script hook v.dll drag both files inside your gta v main directory if this application pops up just replace the files Next, we are going to install scripthookv.net extract folder and then now select scripthookv.net.asi.dll and .xml. Make sure that you drag those three files inside your GTA V main directory. Now, guys, we are going to install our trainers. Open up your trainer v extract folder. Select trainer v.asi and .ini. Drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Open up your menu extract folder and then select menu stuff folder and menu.asi. Drag both files inside your GTA V main directory. Now, guys, this is optional, you don't have to do it if you want to. But I will leave this mod inside my, inside my downloads, okay guys? So go to my downloads inside my description and download the mod too, guys. Go and open up your map reveal and open interiors extract folder. And then copy all files that is inside that extract folder. And then drag it inside your GTA V main directory. Now guys, we are going to go 
on our Grand Theft Auto V game folder, right click and refresh your folder. Then right click again and then create a new folder. Make sure that you name this folder Mods. Now guys, go back to your GTA V main directory again, right click and create eight and create another new folder and name that folder scripts press enter again and you will redirect inside your scripts folder go and go to your native UI extract folder and then select native UI dot DIL and drag it into your script folder make sure that you are using native UI dot DIL version 1.8 Go back to your GTA V main directory, right click again and refresh your folder. Now guys, we have finished installing all the requirements and now we are going to install the mods. Now guys, the next thing we are going to do is open up your natural V, remaster, extract folder. There is a few things in here that we must do. If you guys want to, okay, you can read the readme.html and it will tell you how to install it but I already know how to install it so I don't need to do it now guys the first step we gotta do in this folder is that make sure that you open up your main files and then now go to your GTA V folder open up your GTA V, v folder guys sorry and now all you guys gotta do okay is select time cycle mods dot ASI and time cycle mods dot INI and drag them both inside your GTAV main directory. Minimize your GTAV folder guys and now go back over, go back to your extract folder. And now guys the next thing we are going to do is select your natural vision installer dot OIV and drag it inside your desktop now guys we already got it so we don't need to do it okay so I'm gonna exit out of here because I already got it over there now once you guys finish um, installing your file onto your desktop then all you guys gotta do next is exit out of your extract folder now go to your visual V extract folder guys and now we are going to do the same with this folder Go to your installation via mod package and select visualv.oiv and drag it into your desktop. As you guys can see, I already got it right here, so I don't need to do it. So guys, the next thing we are going to do now is we're going to install these mods. Go to your open IV, go to your tools, go to package installer, and then now the first thing we are going to install guys is our visual v dot oiv select visual v dot oiv and then open up your file wait for a few seconds click on install and then click on install to your mods folder and then now confirm installation now guys this installation will take a few minutes it depends on your pc performance so I'm going to pause the video until this installation is finished. Now we are back again guys. So as you guys can see that the installation has succeeded. All you guys got to do now is, is close your file. Now step 2 guys. Go back to your tools again. Go back to your package installer. And select natural vision installer dot OIV. Now go to open. And then now the next thing we are going to do guys is click on install and then install it to your mods folder and then confirm installation now guys this one will take a few minutes depending on your pc performance it may take about 20 minutes or 30 minutes it's all up to your pc performance so guys i'm going to go and pause the video again and i'll see you guys soon now we are back again guys so as you guys can see that the installation is now succeeded and it's finished and now all you guys got to do is select close now now all we got to do here guys is just minimize 
your open IV and now you can delete these if you guys want to it's totally up to you but I will do it now guys all you guys got to do now is open up your Grand Theft Auto V folder now just drag it in the middle somewhere guys okay now guys this is the next thing we are going to do now is reshade and then now just wait for a few seconds now guys this will pop up okay all you guys got to do is select your game okay so it says here select game to install or to uninstall okay so all you guys got to do now is click the big box over here and then now it will reopen up your desktop okay so guys all you got to do next okay is find your game which my game is is in my d file and then go then just find your game guys okay just find your game i know where my game is so now once you guys are inside your game okay open up your game folder and then now click on gta5.exe and then click open now it will say select the render api the game uses now all you guys got to do next is click on direct 3d 10 plus now it says here do you wish to download a collection of standards effects from blah blah blah, blah. okay just say yes now it is downloading all of the files guys so just wait for a few seconds and it will download all the files for you now all you guys got to do next is just scroll down the bottom okay just go all the way down the bottom make sure that they are all, all that they all you know ticked okay once they are all ticked okay press ok and then now it has been succeeded and then just quit out of there guys and now your reshade is actually installed now guys we are going to install our visions now just go right at the bottom guys on your Grand Theft Auto V main directory now guys this will be inside my downloads too custom visions the custom visions will be inside my description inside my downloads once you guys download custom visions all you guys got to do is open up the extract folder okay and then now just drag it towards the side for a bit guys drag this towards the side and now the next thing we are going to do guys let's copy all the files in here guys and drag it inside your GTA V main directory now guys that's all you gotta do okay exit out of your extract folder right click on your GTA V folder and then refresh your folder guys and then that's all you guys gotta do and now we got a fully modded graphic mod uh, folder guys so just go and double check okay go to your mod folder go to update go to time 64 and go to your drc packs and just check you said it's all there so guys quit out of your dtav folder then now right click and refresh your desktop and then it guys i will see you in the game and welcome back guys so we're here with franklin and as you guys can see by the textures it looks pretty awesome so guys we're gonna go and jump on a roof the reason why i always go on a roof because i can see the whole view so guys this is the whole game textures and graphics okay so what we're gonna do guys okay as you guys can see up top it says press home or press one to start your tutorial okay but i already know how to do it so i'm just gonna press home on your keyboard and now it will come up with this okay all you guys got to do is press continue and then over here okay remember guys remember press home on your keyboard and then press continue and then come over here guys and now it's got some other things that you would that you might want to have okay there's a few things in here there's like colorful realistic dark realistic it just only just click on okay guys and you guys will see the graphics okay so there's dark uh there's like deep and deep and rich so yeah it just it just changes the textures of your game okay guys uh yeah it just changed everything okay guys see 
But guys, I'm going to leave it as dark and realistic because I like dark and realistic. And then press continue. Now you guys can change it if you want to, but I'm going to leave it as is. Press continue again. Then press finish. And then press reload. Then now wait, wait for a few seconds guys. And then press escape on your keyboard. And now this is official finished. So guys, that is all we have for today, okay? So guys, if you guys need help, okay? If you guys are still stuck with this mod, okay? Make sure you guys comment below or head to my Discord server inside my description. And then I, then I can help you guys, okay, guys? And make sure that you guys download and install all the requirements. And make sure that the requirements are the latest versions. So guys, with that all said, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did, smash that like button. And if you guys are new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Peace and I'm out.